the million dollar question, if you're a Glencore investors, is what do they do with the money, right? Is it do they buy something? Do they reinvest or they give it back to shareholders? Well, it's a balancing act. They're already paying out one point four billion dollars, so uh, as part of a share buyback and dividend policy, so so that looks pretty good. Uh, but remember, they the earnings are great. But a portion of these earnings, and certainly quite a lot of the earnings growth, is coming out of the Congo. And the problem with the Congo is that they've been paying a company relating to Dan Gertler, and the Americans are, are really unhappy about that. And, and there may be a, a billion dollar fine heading their way. So I suspect, I suspect Ivan Glazenberg, who's been very closely involved with, with dealing with these assets in the Congo, so I'm, yeah. I'm told, and so, he, so, so Dan Gertler says, yeah. um, you know, he, he must be a bit worried about, about what he, what's heading his way and what the, the eventual right. ramifications are. I mean, more worrying, there's a more worryingly, there's also a corruption probe at the U.S. Department of Justice, which we didn't really get an update on today. Well, they threw in, you know, that, that they were going to look at, at, at oil trading in Nigeria and Venezuela, and you know, no. it would be difficult for any chief executive to be sure that nothing bad had gone on in those areas historically. Um, so I think they, I think the DOJ just threw those in as like, well, right. if we don't get you on what's going on in the Congo, we'll get you on something else.